So Phil, you know, he, he, all of a sudden we have a studio now and one of the first acts, he wanted to bring Johnny Jenkins in and see what he had to do, what he could do. Jerry Wexler at Atlantic, he, he was hot on that voodoo theme, you know. And uh, it might have been him that suggested doing Gilded Splinters. Or they, they had to have some kind of image for Jenkins. He, the image of just him as an old blues cat playing just leaning on a stump, drinking moonshine, drink, playing the blues, wasn't enough, wasn't flamboyant enough. So they figured they'd make a sort of a black version of Dr. John out of him, I suppose. And so we did that whole album was a voodoo theme. And Jenkins didn't understand it at all. He didn't know, like, he suggested doing a couple of his old things. One of the songs he really wanted to do was a song he had recorded called uh, Soul Twist. We said, Johnny, they don't do the twist anymore, buddy. And, uh, <laughs> and so we, why don't we do this? And they had a heck of a time teaching him, calm, gilly, gilly, calm, calm, walk on. He just couldn't get it. Calm, what's that calm, calm stuff? I don't, <laughs> and so when the, anyway, the record came out and he didn't like it. And uh, one of the first interviews I read, and he, he said, they, they had me singing in Spanish. <laughs> He said, I don't understand that stuff. And so when we were doing it, you know, it was, it, we figured, well, who, who, how do you ever know you're cutting a hit when you're doing it? Very rarely, a few times, I've thought that to, what I do today is going to be a giant hit. You really never know. And too many times I thought was going, something was going to be a smash. Nobody ever heard it again. So that's the way with Tauntaun McCoot. And uh, basically, it was our rhythm section cutting all this stuff. A lot of the time, Jenkins wasn't even here when we were cutting those tracks. And they would, in times for some vocals, they'd go and pay Johnny some cash, and he'd come put his parts on there. You know? Of course, the Altman Brothers are here in town. There's, we're the only station in town. I mean, they're always dropping in and out. I know Dwayne stepped in and one day and just happened to be here, and and uh, well, they pulled him in on a a song with, with Jenkins on that album. They did a, uh, forgot the name of the cut, but it was just wound up being uh, Jenkins and Dwayne on acoustic guitars, just two of them. Then the Altman Brothers all of a sudden became a giant band when when they got a, when that Fillmore East thing came out. So then when they would release the Tom Tom McCood albums, when the guest musician, when the musician listed, their names was in type about that big and all of our names were about like that. You know, <laughs> and really they just came in and sort of after the fact, but you know, that's the way you do it. That's the way you blow things up. Uh.